Now, <clears throat> Ionot has a question, he says. I have a question, he says. How can you overcome envy? Like, I am not a rich boy, just a normal, or a bit poor boy, and I see close friends enjoy nice things, and I wish them too. <clears throat> Lots of people have <clears throat> many different things. You're focused on what thing, material thing they have. And because you see a material thing that they have, you have a physical expression of their condition of life. But what you don't see may be something that you never want to have. So you think they're happy. They're happy with that thing. But you take that thing away, they're not happy because they're conditioned to be happy with things. Some people are. Focus on being happy without things, independent of achieving, attaining, buying, having, owning things. Then when you do strive full force to gain and attain whatever you want to achieve in life, you will always be happy on your way to achieving it and when you achieved it. Otherwise, you will only be conditioned to be happy when you get things. And on the way to get them, you're always nervous and unhappy because your happiness is dependent on things. So, many people have things that I don't have. But why would I care about what they have? And if I want to put my happiness on things, I'll never be happy because there's unlimited number of things that I may wish for. Right here, I'm sitting here. There's so many things I can wish for. But really, what I really want to wish for is to be happy. So I learn what brings happiness. Not that things I should follow and pursue in order to get happiness. Because the happiness is not in things. The happiness is in very simple, basic things of life, which you need to find it for yourself. As I mentioned before, the, the, the moment that you open your eyes... That's a reason to be happy. The moment that you see there's oxygen, clean air to breathe. Reason to be happy. Something to eat, something to drink, a place to sleep, safe place to be. And the rest, I will build it. I will make it. I'm not going to be envy of anything. So many people have so many things far more than I've never ever in my life envied anything that anybody had. Why? Because I've been fully focused on the things that I have and I love having them. <clears throat> if you constantly want to be focusing on the things, the nice things that they have, then you simply are forgetting about the things that you have. So if you're not focusing on the things that you have, you will find no reason for you to be happy because you don't really know what you have. You only know what they have. So what I'm suggesting to you is focus on the things that you want to have and you have it. And don't focus on the things that you don't have because you never know if they really worth that much. you just judging it by the way they're interacting with it. However, having said all that, envy produces a negative energy for you because you always think then what you have and what you are is not enough because I want that. And unless I have that, I'm not more. Because we've all been conditioned ever since childhood to be more, to want more. And thinking that by getting things, we will be more. Right now, you're looking at them, you think they're more than you are. Why? Because they have things. And you think because somebody has things, then they are more. It's like when you're walking in the street and you see somebody with their girlfriend. You think... He's more valuable than you because he's got a girlfriend. But if the same person walk in by himself and you see that person, you think no comparison. It's just that we are conditioned to want to be more. And when somebody is with another person, we think that person is more than me because there are two of them. If somebody has some nice car, you think that person is more than you because he's got a nice car because he's 
something more about him, a, a thing, an object. But don't do that. Because really objects have a definite time life. They break down. And no longer they're as fancy as they were at the day one. So they cannot really add anything to you. All they're doing is costing that person a lot to maintain it. So focus on the things that you love about your life, the things you want to build in life, the things you want to accomplish in life, and choose and use the fact that you want to have the nice things that they have as your motivation for you to go and get what you want in life. So try to become independent of things and what other people have. And keep looking on your direction if you want to get to your destination. If I'm going this way, have a plan, want to get somewhere, but I keep looking at the other line, keep looking at the other line, like if I'm in a, in a, a race, in a running race, in a, in a, in a track team race, and I'm fo if I'm focusing on, the, on, on my own lane and keep running as fast toward the finish line, I'll have a better result than keep looking how far is this guy. Is that guy ahead of me? And that way, oh, oh he's, he's catching up. I'll lose my concentration. So focus on your life. Focus on what you have. Focus on the things that you love about your life. And the things that the others have, it would be nice if you have it, but you don't, so the hell with it. <laughs> you go on and see what you can do in your future and build your life to the point that you will have some things that you want. And believe me, the things that you really envy right now, a few years from now, you don't even want them. It's just that you think that you will be more by having what they have. But try to understand, being more is not by things. You can be more and a lot more than them and what they have if you just educate yourself, learn about yourself, how you can develop, how you can extend good energy, how you can find wonderful connection between you and the nature, tranquility and peace, and develop yourself and get closer to the destination that you're headed for. Perhaps this would be something that could help you and also Envying others, it just brings internal negative feeling and you want to have an external positive flow of energy and that would be the way to negotiate life.